Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough of the Return to the Circle Undone with Wendy Adams. We are at the, veg uh, the Wages of Sin scenario, so the fourth scenario in the campaign. Uh, again, I didn't do that much changes into my deck because I only had two experience, so I won't pull up the deck list onto the video. If you are interested, you can check out the deck list in the video description. I will add a link there. Uh, the only change is that I upgraded one of the Alter of Hates from level 1 to level 3. So now it's a past event and cost only one uh, resource to play. So that is the only change in the deck from the last scenario. Uh, there are some changes in the uh, Wages of Sin scenario for the Return to Circle London campaign. Uh, one being that uh, now we have a because we um, did um, uh, or Erin wants to meet uh, ending in the witching hour. We have a second different um, act one and act two in the act deck. There is the old act two also. So when we advance to act two, uh, we have both acts in play at the same time. Uh, we also have the tarot card at the hangman upside down, so we don't have a mulligan for this uh, playthrough. And uh, we also have the uh, regular encounter deck and the spectral encounter deck. And this is just to remind me which is the spectral one. Uh, we have some new locations, so uh, we uh, have a new hangman's brook location, which we randomly determined. I don't know which one it is yet. Uh, also, we got some new heretics, so when we uh, add the heretics onto the table, we have two new uh, heretics in the pool, of, and, and the pool is now eight, so we pick four of those eight. I already randomized them, uh, and they are uh, over here waiting for the advancement of the uh, act. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, of course, we added um, black book into the into Wendy's deck so we have one extra skull token in the chaos pack but that's basically it so without further ado let's get started and because I don't have a mulligan I'm just demonstrating that I will shuffle the deck a bit more before we pull our hand and to remind you each weakness we pull we can't uh, re-pull them or redraw cards instead of them we have to resolve them immediately so hoping we don't get uh, too badly screwed right at the get-go okay so i think that is enough shuffling these are shuffled so we'll draw our opening hand uh, we get perception unexpected courage false keyring that is good and atucophobia and track shoes so a pretty good well uh, this is not good but it's not that bad either we can manage with this so there is no mulligan we we'll just start playing so immediately i will play old keyring and track shoes so that's four resources and uh, last action, we'll use the old keyring to investigate here. Actually, I won't use the old keyring here, I'll use the perception. So we are investigating. Uh, let's use the old keyring too. So investigating four versus uh, two, or, or five versus two actually. Hoping to pass this. It is a zero, so we'll grab this clue. And that is our turn. Now we also draw a card from the Perception, another Unexpected Courage. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Uh, we also lost one here. Uh, we get the uh, level 1 Alter Fate, which is not that good, but it is okay. Uh, we can't use this to get rid of a, non, uh, a weakness treachery, so there's that. But 
It is what it is. Well, that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, uh, one of eight. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Unhallowed Land. Test Agility 5. For each point you fail by discarding the top card of the encounter deck. If a curse, treachery is discarded by this effect, deal one direct horror to your investigator and to each of your ally assets. Okay, I'm just testing it. Uh, 5 versus 5. Zero, we pass, so that is good. So there are also two uh, different discard piles. So uh, here is the uh, normal and here is the spectral discard piles. Okay, uh, I think first action is a double action. We'll just get rid of this. Last action, I will go to the haunted fields. And that is our turn. No enemies. Uh, we, we are not using the Traxus. We want to get this booth to advance. So uh, no enemies. We'll go to upkeep. Uh, we get lucky. Gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, another Doom. Encounter card is despoiled. Uh, put the despoiled into play in your threat area after you successfully uh, succeed at a skill test during your turn. Increase the difficulty of each subsequent test you perform this turn by one. Uh, so we can test the willpower to get rid of this. I think I'm doing that immediately. It's so annoying. But it is what it is. I'm using the unexpected courage. So I am uh, 6 versus 3. It is a skull. And skull is X. X is the highest. Uh, higher than the number of copies of unfinished business in the... Okay, so it's a zero. So this is uh, discarded. Second action, we are investigating. I'm uh, using the old key ring, so I'm investigating... Uh, three versus one. Nothing. Okay, so the each spectral enemy at haunted fields gets plus one horror value. Well, minus three, we fail, so we don't lose the key. So last action, I'm just doing the same thing again. Or uh, actually, uh, minus three. Uh, we are at uh, three versus one, so we go to zero. So we can lock it. So I'm using the lock to grab the clue. So this also goes. And last action, we are uh, investigating uh, 5 versus 3. I'm committing the unexpected, other unexpected courage to this test. Uh, there shouldn't be curses here. <laughs> I forgot to clean the back out of the curses, so let me redraw. Um, minus 2, so we are good. We are just on target. So, let us see. I will add advance at the end of the round. So, uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We throw abandoned and alone. Our discard is destroyed. There goes everything. We'll take uh, two horror. And, yeah, we'll gain one resource. And at this point, I will use the three sources to advance so uh, let's see spawn one set aside heretic enemy at each of the following locations the gallows heretics graves chapel attic and chapel crypt at two clues to each location put the set aside erin mcidah story asset into play at the haunted fields under no player's control each investigator puts into play one set aside spectral web asset. So we have the spectral web asset here. Let's, uh, see. We get Erin, uh, or Erin rather. And uh, I'll just put the spectral uh, web here. Add two clues to each. 
pulls per investigator to each location. Okay. There is no upper limit, so we just get a ton of clues everywhere. Yeah, this is one of those scenarios. If you only have like uh, one core set, you are <laughs> bound to get uh, uh, bound to run out of the, the tokens if you're playing multiplayer, for example. But I'm just I have just enough uh, for solo playing. Okay, so Erin McGuider uh, comes into play in the world uh, did she spawn into the haunted field. So we are at the haunted field. So I'll just spawn her here. Just mark that uh, she is this icon. Be clear. So three secrets. Um, we know how, if we can use her uh, because she's not under our own control. But yeah, um, we spawn the heretics, so they spawn here, 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 and here. Then uh, I think that is everything we'll advance. So this goes here. Then uh, we have these two in play. I'm actually just placing these like this. So uh, the old one reads Old one reads uh, fast trigger flip your lo location over group lint once per round at each location. Clues cannot be discovered at non spectral locations. Objective vanish as many heretics as you can. There are four copies of unfinished business in the victory display advance, and the unfinished businesses are behind these heretic cards. Uh, but the new one reads uh, uh, pre triggered ability. When you would banish a ghost, you may instead place it beneath Erin the MacGyver uh, heretic side face up action. If you are at Erin MacGyver's location, spend one clues per investigator parlay, choose a heretic beneath her, and place it. We need this act. Uh, objective help Erin find answers by placing heretics beneath this act. If there are three beneath this act, advance. So, still, it, this isn't an easy scenario in any way. So, we'll see how well we do, but not having my hopes up. So, that is the uh, turn. Uh, and let's go to the next turn. We are at uh, 3 of 8 Doom. Encounter card for this journey is still from the normal deck. Uh, ominous portents. Uh, peril revelation. You must either choose one, draw the top card of the spectral encounter deck. This card gains peril and its effects cannot be cancelled or test. Willpower 3 if you fail, take 4. Uh, I have willpower 4. I'll take the risk and uh, test it. I'm actually committing this. So 5 versus 3. It is a skull, it is a 0, so we are good. And our turn is to... Mm, let's see. So, uh, just to refresh our memory. Mm, the heretics are 4, 5, 2 health. Uh, three evade monster guys each spectral elite heretic gets plus two health per investigator uh, while heretic is at a non-spectral location it gains aloof and cannot be engaged or damaged uh, free action spent one clue parlay look at the heretic's other side without resolving its text forced after heretic is, is defeated flip it over and resolve the text on its other side so uh we, for one, are really bad at defeating these enemies. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is, we will just uh, milk these locations out of clues, get the hell out of dots, and call it a day, because this scenario is pretty awful if it goes too long. 
So, uh, saying that, I think we will start by... Oh, it's our hand. Oh yeah, we don't have a hand. I think we start by uh, flipping this location. So, um, Haunted Fields uh, is a tree shroud location. Each spectral enemy at Haunted Fields get plus one uh, horror value. Haunted move the nearest spectral enemy once towards Haunted Fields. And uh, we are investigating three versus three, but I. I was three action. Yeah. So, first action draw a card. Draw a card. Lock picks. Okay. And uh, we'll just. Um, We'll try to inv no because those heretics move we we fail so oh yeah uh, could use the spectral web to fight we just need a ton of clues but yeah I think that's there's no point uh, yeah we will just draw another card so letter code. That is our hand. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card. We get a test of wheel, which is really good, and we gain one with source. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom uh, four of eight. Encounter card is, and now we are at the spectral location. So it's from the spectral deck. So from the other side, test agility tree. If you fail, resolve each haunted ability on your location. If you fail by three or more, resolve each of those them twice instead. Uh, I am testing. Uh, just commit this. So I'm testing. Uh, no. I'm testing five versus three. It is a plus one. So nothing happens. Uh, first action we'll play lockpicks. Second action we'll investigate using the lockpicks. Uh, investigating uh, eight versus three. Minus two, we don't even break a lockpick. Uh, we get a clue. Last action will play uh, letter code, just in case. And that is our turn. No enemies. We go to upkeep. We get uh, Wendy's amulet with one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, this credits also. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, five of a doom. Encounter card is. Plot Thirsty Spirits. Um, put Plot Thirsty Spirits into play in your threat area. While your location is haunted, as an additional cause for you to commit one or more cards to this skill test, you must resolve each haunted ability on your location. Pause. At the end of the turn, test will part 3 if you succeed discard Plot Thirsty Spirits. Uh, we just ignore that. Uh, I will use the lockpicks. Investigate. Uh, 8 versus 5, uh, 3, uh, minus 3 is enough, we succeed by 2 or more, we get the clue, second action will move to this location, last action will commit when this amulet to test this, so 6 versus 3, 0, we get rid of this one, that is our turn, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, Waylay, gain one resource, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom, so 6 of 8 encounter card is, and uh, this is uh, a regular location, so Witchweed uh, Peril Revelation, if Witchweed is drawn from a standard encounter deck, shuffle it into the Spectral Encounter deck. Okay, and that is it. First action, 
we will use the lockpicks to investigate. Uh, sorry, we'll uh, have to first flip this location over. So choose route zero during your the mythos phase. Each investigator at abandoned chapel gets minus one to its skill haunted. Until the end of the round, you get minus one to its skill. Okay, and we just want to cruise and get out of here. So eight versus by six. Uh, skull is uh, minus zero, so we'll grab a clue. Second action. Just investigate without trying to use anything to help us. So uh, three versus two minus one. We'll do that again. Yeah. Three versus two. Zero. Get a clue. And that is the turn. No enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, Ostian bargain, and we gain one resource. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 7 of 8 doom, encounter card for this turn is uh, spectral, so we get fate of all fools, which doesn't do anything at the moment. First action, we'll use the lockpicks again to investigate, 8 vs 2. I think this is the last turn of the game. Uh, minus two, we'll grab this clue from here. Uh, a bit boring, I uh, confess, but I really, really hate this scenario. And uh, it's all based on luck if you're ever gonna get even one heretic. So I'm just saving my uh, mental health and going here. Resigning, dropping all of my clues here. And that is our game. So, a bit boring, but we got two experience out of this. That is enough to upgrade the other um, Alter Fates. And uh, next up, we have the <laughs> one of my favorite scenarios from this campaign, which is the For the Greater Good. I'm really Really excited to see what changes are have been made to that scenario because it didn't have that many problems to begin with and it was enjoyable uh, right from the get-go. But we'll see. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.